T-Mobile makes their LTE network official and launches the iPhone 5 along with it. An HTC Butterfly 2 already confirmed in the works, and Windows Phone 8 may support FM radios if that's even worth it. I'm Jaime Rivera, hating how it changes from sunny to rainy from one day to the next. And this is Pocket Now Daily. News are all about T-Mobile today as they've officially launched their LTE network in seven cities and they're getting even better in the summer. But interesting enough, they're also bringing their own iPhone 5. And notice, their own because it's going to be locked to T-Mobile. We're not sure if you can bring an AT&T or Verizon Unlock iPhone to work on T-Mobile since there are three iPhone 5 models in the market and there could be a fourth one with this move since this device will work on T-Mobile's LTE network and also there are two bands of 3G network. It's kind of weird what's going on here but aside from that they're also confirming they have no contract plans that are better than the ones they had and they're also getting the HTC One N Galaxy S4 as their LTE devices aside from the Blackberry Z10 and also the Galaxy Note 2 that you already know about so stay tuned links in the description for full details on which cities and everything because it's getting good now let's talk about Windows Phone 8. Believe it or not, within their future plans, they're bringing FM radio support to Windows Phone 8 devices. Um, and yeah, if you don't know what FM radio is, I don't blame you. It's something that a lot of people don't use anymore, and Windows Phone is now bringing it. But hey, the Lumia 820 and the Lumia 920 already have support for it, and apparently Microsoft will make this available to every other device that has this, even though we don't know which devices these are. And well, stay tuned on when this happens. We still don't have any specific dates. It's just interesting how late Microsoft can be. And speaking of another late bloomer when it comes to Windows Phone 8 devices, Sprint has just confirmed that they will be bringing two Windows phones to the market. The Samsung ATVS, which would pretty much be the first carrier to support the Samsung ATVS, finally. And apparently they're also getting the HTC Tiara, which we don't know much about except for leaks. So stay tuned. Um, you want to know which dates? Well, not even Sprint knows, but they said apparently between May and June. You know how this works. And speaking of HTC, they've just confirmed that they're joining hands with Qualcomm to promote the HTC One since this is the first device that rocks the Snapdragon 600. And any sort of efforts that are put together to have HTC promote their phones is going to be welcome on our book. But then we have a Desire P and a Desire Q phones that are being rumored. Or wait a second, they're already launched in the mid-tiered market. They're online, nothing really big, and I would just stay away from those phones. I'm just mentioning it because it's there. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, if you thought that the HTC One was their only wild card for the year, well, think again. You remember the HTC Butterfly, aka Droid DNA, and how the HTC One pretty much killed the buzz on this phone? Well, apparently the HTC One will not be the only flagship device this year. Apparently there is already a Butterfly 2 in the works, or so says an HTC executive that just confirmed. So just think about it. I mean, the HTC DNA was pretty much killed by the One, even though the One is not launched anymore. Nobody's buying a Droid DNA anymore because obviously they want the better HTC One. And and now we get to the point where we have a Butterfly 2 that's going to do the same to the HTC One eventually. So that leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that HTC launches too many phones? In my particular case, I do believe they do. I feel that they should just launch one phone and then keep the old phones like the HTC One X, which is still a cool device. They could leave that as the mid-tier phone and bring the HTC One as their newer phone and not kill it with new flagship phones. And then you could probably say that there are a ton of Galaxy devices out there, but yes, there is a Galaxy device for every specific niche. It's not, you know, one flagship hitting on another flagship. There's four specific categories. Not everybody wants a phablet like the Galaxy Note 2 or the Galaxy S3, which is smaller. So I feel that HTC should not compete against themselves. Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And yes, of course, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.